All right, guys, got a special treat for you today. I've been waiting a little while to release this just so I could give you guys my uh, full and honest opinion. This is definitely going to be something different, but let me tell you, uh, this is one of the finest guns I've ever had the privilege of shooting and owning. Um, so for those of you out there who are wondering, yes, this is a fantastic gun. Um, do I recommend it for a first gun? Absolutely not. Um, there's a lot of tinkering and things of that nature that we, we get into with a gun like this. And almost all the parts are completely non-stock. Um, so essentially what we have here, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the case. You're probably wondering what's in this giant fucking thing. Right here. You can see that it has the color designation. It says gray on there. And then for those of you, I don't know if my camera will be able to focus. It's showing these stats there. But let's go ahead and pop this guy open so I can show you what's inside. All right, guys. So what we have here Just made it safe. All my guns are always hot. So what we have here is one of the finest handguns I've ever had the privilege of owning or shooting. This here is a Zevtech Dragonfly full build. So you'll see that there is quite a bit of modifications done to it. Everything from top to bottom. I'll let you just get a look at that and then I'll begin some talking points. All right, guys. So what we have going on here um, is pretty much an entire Zev build. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Zev Technologies do a lot in the just custom gun world as a whole. Um, everything from ARs uh, to Glocks to various other customization options for several other firearms. But what I know the most from is going to be your Glocks, of course. Now what we got going on here, guys, there's a lot going on. So just to give you some context we have some angled serrations on the back here which you know i'll take them either way honestly i don't really feel that it's it's necessary to spend a whole bunch of money to get something like that done but you know more power to you if that's something that you enjoy also what we've had done here is some lightning cuts to the slide now this is called their dragonfly model which essentially what this modification is supposed to accomplish is by lightening the slide, it reciprocates the slide faster, so it allows you to essentially shoot quicker. Um, I don't know how much accuracy there is behind that. What I will say it is it is incredibly light as a whole piece, essentially. So compared to a standard Glock, um, of course, having the millings done out in the front here really, really does make a difference. It's a lot lighter and, you know, I don't know if it necessarily makes it shoot faster, but hey, I'll take every bit to help. Moving on from the slide here, we have the barrel. Now, this is not a Zevtech barrel. And uh, the reason I went with the True Precision is just because I believe they wear a little bit better. Um, this rose gold finish I thought really looked nice in contrast with the silver, but that is purely aesthetics. Other than that, it is a match grade barrel, which generally has tighter tolerances. Um, I really got it because it has the uh, threaded up top so I can add the compensator uh, or I can add a suppressor. You know, if you're into that, absolutely, you can add kind of either or. Um, that way you can use muzzle devices and do what you want to do there. Also on the slide here, you'll notice that we've had a sights upgrade. These are blacked out steel suppressor height, just in case I do want to run a can or run any type of compensator. This allows me to do so with the ease. That's pretty much just ready to go, plug and play. And up top here, you see that this is a Trijicon RMR cut top so I, I have the battle plate in now as i'm not running a red dot on this particular build um, but right now 
I have the capability to do so. So very versatile. One thing I do have to say is the trigger is absolutely phenomenal as well. Um, I believe this is one of their Zev Pro triggers and uh, I have no complaints at all. The stipple job is fantastic. Really, really well done. It's a full grip, but they leave the tang exposed here. So just in case you miss, you can get a full grip on that and kind of correct your air on the draw. Also, they've done the shelving as well as the index points on the under portion, which is very, very nice. And while we're talking about the frame, you'll notice that I've had undercuts done as well. So you can get your hand really high up on there and that allows for a good purchase on the Glock 19. Moving down on the frame here, you also notice their concealed carry magwell. Um, I, I like this specific, specifically because it gives you a lip here. And realistically, what you're looking at with that lip is it just gives you a little bit better recoil control, in my opinion. And, of course, way less margin for air on a speedy reload. Um, this is not required by any means, but when you're going, running, and gunning, and doing what you need to do, um, whether it be at the range, in competition, or in a fight for your life, it definitely doesn't hurt to have every advantage and shave off every second that you can. This traditionally would be more along the lines of a race gun. However, um, I could see it definitely being adapted to combat. There's pros and cons with any design, but it's been dead nuts reliable for me and a phenomenal gun. Moving on to the other part of the frame here. Essentially what we've got going on is an extended Zev mag release. I like this a lot because again, I don't have to reposition my grip when I'm reloading and I think that's absolutely phenomenal because you're shaving off time once again on something that you might have to be doing. Now obviously we're not Rambo so hopefully we won't need to be re reloading a lot but in, in case of a malfunction or something of that nature it really allows uh, a little bit more room for air you could say just because of the speed and everything else that it entails. Moving on to what I have going on inside of the gun. I have the Zevtech steel guide rod. Um, again, this is just really pinching and pulling hairs. They sell this as a complete package. So um, aside from the barrel, which uh, I sold the Zev barrel and got this one instead. Um, just from personal preference and uh, of course wear and tear, what I wanna be using it for. I just felt like this was a better option. It's nothing against the Zev barrels. They're absolutely phenomenal. And guys, other than that, um, I just got some polished Zev internals going on in the top of the slide, um, polished trigger bar, things of that nature. But aside from that, the, that's really all there is to it. I believe this retails as a whole package if you wanted everything as you see for around $1,850. Uh, last time I checked, uh, prices may vary uh, either up or down depending on retailers near you. This was called the Dragonfly model. So they have various other ones like the OZ9 and they have some Spartan series and all kinds. So, uh, you know, definitely look and see what may appeal to you. Different slide designs, different types of grip. Uh, I happen to really like the slide lightning as well as, you know, just kind of the traditional uh, slide serrations. Some of them come with dimples and all kinds of crazy stuff. I kind of like a little bit more along the lines of traditional and these are diagonal, which is cool, you know, but I definitely wouldn't have uh, paid more money essentially for it, if that makes sense, if it didn't already just come as a package. Um, so other than that, guys, this is definitely uh, one of my favorite handguns today just because of how soft shooting it is, how lightweight it is. Um, Glocks are normally pretty light, in my opinion, compared to most things out there, but this thing really takes the cake as far as you know having all that weight shaved off and then of course on the grip too you know they've taken off finger grooves and all that fun stuff um so realistically yeah it's much much lighter than your standard uh chunk of glock there and if you guys have any questions or would like to see more of this gun um definitely hit me up in the comments uh, leave a like you know just tell me your general thoughts or what you may carry i'm always down for some discussion but yeah, I uh, really can't hate on this. And then for my mags on this guy, of course, you guys are going to see a theme here. 
I run Taran Tacticals. This is a Glock 19 standard mag with a, a plus four Taran or plus five actually Taran Tactical, and you can see that this is a flush fit design. So it just goes right in there and gives you, I believe, 22 rounds of 9mm, which definitely nothing to balk at. And then if that's not enough for you, you can take this Glock 17 mag here with another plus 5 from Turan Tactical and get those extra, extra rounds. Because as you know, the Glock 17 gives you plus 2 just to begin with, and then you already have the plus 5 on there. So very, very nice package altogether. And really, like, you can't go wrong. Especially not with Zev. Um, some of their stuff, they were having quality control issues, and I definitely agree for this price point. That's not something I want to experience nor hear about. Um, but what I will tell you is mine has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's, it's everything I would want it to be in both a combat or competition application. Or if you just want to really want to take a nice, nice Gucci Glock, as they like to call them, and just go out to the range with your buddies and have something that's super smooth shooting and just enjoy it. Because really, that's what it's about, guys. At the end of the day, when we're not using them in defensive use or protecting our house, it's for enjoyment. We do it because we can and because we're responsible and we enjoy something that, you know, makes us happy. So go out there and definitely do everything you can to you know enjoy your guns because there's a lot of people that just don't get to do that and of course be responsible uh, definitely get some training too guys that's one thing i, I really 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 uh, try to press on and i know i don't probably don't say it a lot of my videos but training is really everything um so before you get a gucci glock like this and it's not going to make you a better shooter guys i've shot thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds this is realistically just something I wanted to get. Um, it is fun. It's not going to make you, you know, John Wick on the spot or anything like that. So don't think by spending a bunch of money, it's going to substitute skill and fundamentals. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, be safe out there. Like and subscribe, guys. Take it easy.